The coronavirus crisis prompting a border ban on yet another major country. We will put in place a travel ban in relation to the Republic of Korea. South Koreans, Chinese and Iranians now all banned from entering Australia via their respective home countries following a decision of the National Security Committee. Because we believe that affords the best protection and will enable us uh, to, as has always been our objective, to slow down the rate of transmission. There was speculation Italy would join that list with more than 100 deaths there and the closure of all schools. But the European Union's freedom of travel means any ban would potentially prove meaningless. So travel will still be allowed but screenings will be stepped up including mandatory questions at check-in, temperature checks on arrival and no use of smart gates. And we'll be watching closely uh, those developments uh, in over the days and weeks ahead. In Australia, two people have died with at least 53 cases confirmed. Worldwide, the virus has infected over 95,000 people and caused over 3,200 deaths. 22 Australian children remain trapped in China at the epicentre of the virus outbreak, separated from their parents. Despite pleas to bring them home, DFAT has revealed Beijing won't allow it. Uh, surely we could make it a priority. Uh, we, we have tried. The answer to that question consistently has been no. And despite an escalating outbreak in Sydney's north, the chief medical officer says there's still no evidence of widespread community transmission. There is no reason to put a mask on when you're walking around the shops. There is no reason to delude the shelves of lavatory paper in the supermarket. As the pandemic spreads to panic, the Morrison government will roll out a national communications plan to combat misinformation and give practical advice. All of us as Australians have a role to play by staying calm, by supporting each other. Even providing some practical advice for those facing self-isolation in regional areas. You know, there isn't the same access to Uber Eats, for example, there might be in cities. So, you know, make them a curry and take it around. Morrison's message, keep calm and curry on. Trudy McIntosh, Sky News, Canberra.